Hello, this is Edith Neumeyer, and I am the author of the book, The Mystery of Adam. Today I need to make a video. I, I just really don't know how to start because of all the things that are happening today. Many videos on my Facebook group, uh, Great Deceptions of the End Times, are being taken down. And just because they tell people the truth. Of course, their explanation is that they're not factual. But even though, even if they wouldn't be factual, we always had the freedom of speech. Who in the world was sitting somewhere behind us and telling us, oh, this is not the, the truth and or this is not factual and therefore we cannot say it. It is really, really getting bad. It's getting very, very bad. People are more and more being scared about this coronavirus. They are more and more being shut up. There's still lots of people that are speaking out. But again, these people will be taken down. These videos are being taken down. There's a video that I have um, actually posted on my Facebook page by Donna Ashley and um, one of her videos was taken down. What was the video's name? Actually, it's not even it's not even on there anymore. Um, yeah, it's not even on there anymore it's just was totally taken down but there are many others that have been taken down anytime you show that there's connection to either g5 or this um tracking system that i try they are trying to put in place immunization along with the tracking system or some people say ID chip, but which is not really, they, they're saying it's not an ID chip. What's happening out of this, there's going to be a new technology. When we Christian talked about the mark of the beast, we always thought, oh, it's a chip, it's a chip. But that was probably uh, because we didn't know the newer technology that is coming out. Do some research, do some research into this new technology. And I have addressed it. I don't have it in front of me right now. But um, it's very important that you look at these alternative news before they're taken down. Subscribe uh, to my channel. Also, Go to my, befriend me on my Facebook group, Great Deceptions of the End Times. I post videos there all the time. And watch those videos because we don't know how fast uh, this, will, this stuff will be taken down. They are trying to prevent that we get behind uh, what their real plan is. I have no idea what they replied. Why? Because nobody really knows. But one thing is clear. They are taking our freedom away. This coronavirus, and, and I believe coronavirus is there. I have said that so many times. But this coronavirus is not the cause why we are on lockdown. It is not. And you have to understand that. The cause is a, a different one. We speculate that, it, you know, that uh, in connection with the G5, people get sick. But there's another uh, video that I saw yesterday, which was really interesting. Again, uh, an expert talking about this, that it actually may be a combination of this coronavirus and something else that are causing these mysterious, and I'm going to call them right now, mysterious death. That is very, very possible. And that's what I 
my gut feeling is telling me as well, or my intuition is telling me as well. They have been testing, testing, testing. And I'm asking myself, what are they testing for? What are they testing for? Uh, they are trying to find something. Either that, there's another reason why they're testing. We know that in the past several years, people have been, or they have been promoting uh, uh, testing for genealogy. So what do you, I think it's called gene genealogy, right? Uh, testing for your um, uh, heritage. Yeah, genealogy. Where you're from. Um, and so uh, they want people <laughs> to send, send in samples of your blood so they can determine your genome. And they have now a bank, okay, a gene bank. And they are trying to collect as much information about the genome of humankind they can. And I, I hope I'm using the right word. But um, genealogy is something uh, that they are really focusing on. And I'm thinking, what if they are collecting samples of every human being and they're putting it in a gene bank? Now they have gene banks, I know that. And they're really asking people to do this research and to send in a sample. What if that wasn't fast enough for them? What if this is what they're using right now to get as many samples of people to do their research, whatever research that is. Research to, yeah, manipulate genes. Research to change human beings into different kinds of human, subhuman beings. I don't know what superhuman beings. I don't know what's going on. This is all speculation because they, of course, are not telling us. Now, I'm throwing this out there for you to do some more research. And I am going to continue to do research on that. Nobody has brought that up. Nobody has brought up that maybe through these blood samples, and I'm thinking that these blood samples that they're taking from people to determine whether they're coronas corona patients or not, are being kept in some kind of gene banks. That's what I'm assuming. And they're not telling you. Because I just, from what I'm hearing, I cannot imagine that this coronavirus is really what they think is deadly. Yes, we are having period uh, people that are dying uh, uh, by kind of mysterious causes uh, connected to the lungs and, and 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 all these things but are these people really dying because of the coronavirus so many people are saying well the coronavirus may be there in more people than what we think why because the coronavirus has been around okay the covid 19 has been around but why are these people really dying? This is the question. How do we not know that this, these people are dying because of a different cause, a different virus, a different agent, a different agent that they will not tell us? They are hiding from us. Is that a possibility? People, why am I saying that? I know that my channel is a biblical channel. I talk about um, end times prophecy on my channel. This is end times prophecy. We are, we are at the door of going into the wrath of God. Why am I saying that? And I have said that over and over again. Yes, the Bible is not telling us Oh, people, this is when the wrath of God starts. But we know the signs. In my last video, I urged people 
to have the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is preventing us. Uh, the Holy Spirit is preventing us from being deceived. So, guess what? My previous video was not viewed as much. Why? Because it didn't itch people's ears. Remember, uh, I believe it's in Second Timothy. I want to say Second Timothy two. I want to say that, but it could be someplace else. Um, and I don't see it, but in one of the, uh, the letters to Timothy. Paul is saying that people will uh, forget about good, sound doctrine and they will follow myth. And that is the case today. People will follow myth. And I will put the, the scripture on, the, uh, on my description box um, again. But that's what people are doing today. They will rather listen to things that itch their ears and when they don't have to think on their own. They are misguided. People are misguided today. So many. There are not very many true Christians left, people. Not very many. Uh, it's unfortunate. I hope you people on my channel if you're a subscriber i hope that you are one of the wise versions that you are ready to be raptured because i'll tell you right now the rapture can happen this year with the way things are the rapture can happen this year we are going towards the implementation of the mark of the beast what is the mark of the beast? Now, I know that I have done videos about it, but maybe this is what I should be focusing on again today. The mark of the beast in Revelation 13. Remember, the mark of the beast is a sign on your forehead or your uh, right arm. Um, hand. Okay. It's just a sign, a sign that you have done something that is important for the government. Now, I'm not saying Antichrist because you know what I believe about Antichrist. Antichrist is everybody, according to first and second John. Antichrist is everybody who is against Jesus coming in the flesh or Jesus being God in the flesh. That's Antichrist. We are talking about the man of lawlessness. That's what most people call Antichrist. Now, that's not the who I'm talking about. I'm not talking about this Antichrist that comes supposedly at the end. No, I'm talking about the man of lawlessness who's already here and he was sitting on the beast of Revelation 13. That's that's the man of lawlessness. That is the beast. Um, uh, that is the, the, no, the little horn in Daniel uh, 7. And that is Babylon the Great. And you can see that in Revelation 17. That uh, man of lawlessness that um, Paul talked about in First Thessalonians, no, Second Thessalonians 2. That's what I'm talking about. And you can look it up. Please look it up. Do not take my word for it. But all these, you compare the definitions of all these people, they're the same. There is no antichrist or ruler at the end. It, it, that is false teaching of so many teachers, including Perry Stone. I, I saw him again. And he is a total um, futurist, dispensationalist. And he runs after what people call the Antichrist or the man of lawlessness correctly. 
So let's go to Revelation 13 again. This beast out of the sea in Revelation 13, that is the beast, um, the, the last beast that Daniel was talking about in Daniel 7. That is the combination of Roman Empire and the European kingdoms, which is called the Holy Roman Empire. And when these kings kind of fell, the little horn still continued to control and keep that beast together. The, 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 the little horn or Babylon the Great, which is papacy. Now, people, if you don't believe it, do your research, okay? Papacy fits exactly the definition of this Babylon the Great sitting on the beast. That is the beast, okay? And it's the beast that is still this last beast that Daniel described. But there's another beast in Revelation 13, that is bowing down to this old beast that is still alive. Okay? It's bowing down to that old beast out of the sea. And that is the beast that is implementing the mark. That is controlling and enforcing the beast. I mean the mark. People get this very, very, very confused, very confused, uh, and, and they're not thinking. Why? Because they're, uh, they want their ears to be twitched. They want sensationalism. They're not thinking. They're not thinking. They just want to feel uh, uh, some hyped up uh, uh, excitement. People, it is very easy. We are living in the last minutes, seconds before Jesus returns. And you need to wake up this time. Look what is happening right now. We are shortly before the implementation of the mark of the beast. And they're taking all kinds of uh, videos and information down that tells us what's happening. They're taking it down because they don't want you to know. Same thing with people speaking out against this new um, vaccine, which is a very totally different vaccine. And you need to understand that. This new vaccine is a vaccine that is a, a, a new technology and it changes your cell membranes, okay? Because it attacks, um, uh, it or it changes, it changes the cell membranes. You can see the viruses, they depend on your cells uh, to, um, so they can reproduce. And so they want to prevent that. And this this uh, immunization called is called an RNA immunization, which is totally different, totally different, and it changes who you are in a sense, who you are. And when they implant that, they also want to make sure that everybody has some kind of proof. So they squirt something in your skin that proves that you were vaccinated because we're hearing it over and over again bill gates and his followers what is his name fusey um they want uh, uh vaccines they want forced vaccines on everybody and when they force it you cannot Come out of lockdown. You will be in lockdown for the rest of your life. And on top of it, you will not be able to buy or sell because you cannot go 
um, out of your house. Okay, and they may make it even strict eventually. You know, that they say, well, you cannot buy and sell. So who is this beast out of this earth that is causing everybody to get this mark? And who are they that they, they the, the controller, the implementer, the, the, yeah, the enforcer of this mark? See, so many people think, oh, you have to worship the Antichrist. Again, Antichrist is not even the person that is in the Bible. It is the man of lawlessness or Babylon the Great who is sitting on the beast and he's really one with the beast that we are supposed to bow down to. Now, that is what um, worship means. See, so, so many people think worship has to do with... Um, praising or because that's what we know oh we worship god worship god means to us sing and 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 praise and and you know yeah and that's exactly what it is you're praising the other person that is worship i worship something when i see it uh, when i hold it in extreme high regard that is what worship is people uh, it's not, you don't necessarily have to bow down, uh, you know, literally bow down. Worship is just saying, I will accept this other person as ultimate authority. That is already worship. And so many people really don't understand that. What worship is. It is not some spiritual or religious. It doesn't have to be something spiritual or religious. Many people worship many things like money, like um, um, things, objects. Okay. Uh, so it's not um, this, oh, I'm going to bow down to this person. You know, it, it says he, they're going to make a statue of him or an image really an image. It's an image. What is an image? Uh, uh, you know, an image can be anything. It can be a picture. It can be a statue. Um, it could be a, a 3D represent, representation um, on, on the computer. It could be an image could be anything. It could be a picture of something, a, a symbolic uh, representation of something. That's what an image is. But people have things in their head already. And they're expecting things to happen. And maybe these things are not going to happen exactly the way they had it imagined. Or some people put in their head. It could be totally different. But what we're going towards today is exactly, exactly what's going to happen. We are being scared to death. Uh, not, I'm not including myself, and there's other people that are probably not included in that. But many people are scared to death. And they put our government on a pedestal and think our government is going to save us. That is bowing down. That is worshiping. The same thing. People today, how many people worship Trump? Literally worship Trump. They say, oh no, he's not a God. No, but they worship him. Why are they worship him? Because they believe he is more than really a human being. They believe God is using him. They believe this and they believe that. No. Trump is just a normal human being. Matter of fact, he is used by this beast system. By this beast system. Make no mistake. To bring about this mark of the beast. Why? Because the beast out of the earth is in part the United States. In a major part the United States, not alone. Because see, we see very clearly right now 
that there is a world, you know, it's kind of hard to say world government because the governments, they're still there. But let's say a world federation. Maybe that is a better word. A world federation that is behind the governments of the world. You know that? This is the first time I'm thinking about this world. I mean, this word. Because we are, the United States is a federation, and we have still our state governments in place. What if there is a federation, a world federation? So we're talking about the new world order, okay? New world order. So there's an order behind it. We cannot understand very much what order is, but we can understand what federation is. The new world federation. Is the new world federation behind this whole thing? We can see it. And if you don't see that this is all controlled by another entity, then you know what? You need to wake up. It is time for you to wake up. So this new world order, which the United States, of course, belongs to too, because the United States is a huge major part of that federation. Uh, because they are really the military arm. They're the leading military arm. And that's all they are. They're the leading military arm. And then, of course, you have the financial system, which is uh, the Federal Reserve and many, many other people, rich people, that uh, are controlling the money system. But again, when you look behind it, who is behind the money system? And I have done videos about that. It points to the Vatican, the Vatican papacy. Why? Because you know who is on top of uh, the Federal Reserve? It's the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. And the Rothschilds, they're actually treasurers of the Vatican. I have done a video on that, and, and I cannot tell you which one it was. But they are the treasurers of the Vatican. And you can do that research. So if they are the treasurers of the Vatican, obviously, who is behind them? Who is their boss? It's the Vatican. How did they get rich? Because the Vatican or papacy supported them. Okay, that's how they got so filthy rich. And they are the ones that are controlling the whole thing. There is another thing that I have done research on, and that is, and that's something you can also do, Saint, uh, Saint Germain, Saint Germain is another person that you may want to check into. Who is um, instrumental in, in this financial system? Now, putting it all together, you're going to have to ask the Holy Spirit to guide you because there's so much information out there that is almost impossible to bring it all together. But if you have followed my videos, then you know, you know the things that I have talked about. I, I talk about things in part as they come up, but I'll guarantee you there is something behind the scene that is going towards this new world order taking more and more control. Our time that we used to have, the world that we knew, the freedom we had is gone. We are ushering into a totally new uh, world order or system, world system. We don't even know who is behind it. We don't, at this point, we still don't know. We still believe, most people still believe, 
our government has it all together. No. And we're still being told, oh, it's China's fault and it's Russia's fault. And um, no, people, no, no. This new world order or this new world federation is in place. It's not coming. It's not coming still somewhere there. People, it takes time to put a new world order together. And people have been talking about this new world order for a long time. Again, I think I said in one of my videos, Bush a senior was talking about it 20 years ago. And of course, this has been going on even before that. This new world order has been created. Some people believe that this new world order was created since the creation of the U.S. 250 years. There was a purpose why the U.S. was created. They knew it from the beginning. The, the founders knew it from the beginning. And if you do some research on Freemasonry and our founders, uh, our the founders of the United States and what their plan was, like for instance, Pike, uh, which is, a, you know, one of the most important probably Freemasons um, um, that we can even think of, Hall and Pike. And when you read his um, plans for the future, you know this has been planned for a long time. A long time. And yes, papacy, Georgetown University, is a, a Catholic university. And yes, the Catholics were implementing uh, these things in the United States. They had a plan why they would create the United States. Um, and yeah, and you ask, why do we have freedom all along? Why were we made to believe that we have a democracy? Very simple. So they can work in the shadow long enough for them to organize everything. Now, who is in the top again? Of course, Satan. Satan has worked all this out for the past 2,000 years. He knows that his time is up. And it is up very soon. The minute the bride is taken out in the rapture, and I know people, there are still people that don't believe in the rapture. I am not a dispensationalist or a futurist. I don't believe that the tribulation comes after the rapture. No, the wrath of God comes after the rapture. You read Revelation, people. There is no talk about a period of time called tribulation. No place. The horrible things that are happening in the trumpets, the seven trumpets and the seven bowls of vials, they are the wrath of God. They're not tribulation. Yes, there will be people left over, the foolish virgins that will still continue to believe in Jesus. But they were very, they will be very few. They were very, very few. Why? Because the Holy Spirit that indwells every believer is taken out. Okay? That is a mark or a privilege of the church during this time period of 2,000 years since Jesus uh, rose in heaven. The church received, every believer received the Holy Spirit. Once the church is out, no Holy Spirit on every believer is there. Why? Because they're not the church, uh, they're not the bride of Christ anyways. They're just simple human believers. That's all they are. They're not special anymore. If you are left behind after the rapture, and I'm talking about not uh, some made up thing. I'm talking about what Paul talked about in um, First Thessalonians 4, that Jesus returns and takes out the bride before the wrath of God. That's what I'm talking about. And that is real. 
That is not something made up. It's not made up by Darby or dispensationalism or anybody. This is in the Bible. That Jesus will return for his bride before the wrath of God. Okay, because he comes back. The day of the Lord starts with the rapture. Okay, and then the first part is the wrath of God. Because he has to destroy his enemies in order to take over the kingdom. Because the kingdom right now is in the hands of Satan and um, the beast system. And I hope you understand that. It's in the hands of the beast system right now. Make no mistake. Wake up. Wake up. This world is in the hands of first Satan and the peace system and Babylon the Great, which is the religious system. Babylon the Great is the religious system that existed since the Tower of Babel. And that means idolatry and false gods, worshiping Lucifer, worshiping Lucifer. And it doesn't matter what religion you have, they all worship Lucifer. Whether it's uh, um, Catholicism and uh, uh, Judaism, whatever you want. All the isms, I guess, all the isms are not really worshiping God. Because maybe all the denominations, nowadays you, you look at uh, the Protestants, they are all bowing down again to the Pope. Worshipping. Worshipping the Pope. That's worship. When you bow down to the Pope and you kiss his hands and you think that he is something special. That's worshipping. And how many Protestant leaders do that? How many? Or how many Protestant leaders bow down to Judaism and the rabbis. So many. So many. How many worship Israel? Yeah, it's a worship. When you think that Israel is better than everybody else, you worship. You worship Israel. If you think uh, Israel is a uh, you need to bow down to Israel unconditionally or support Israel unconditionally. You worship Israel. And you know why? Because nobody should be uh, uh, accepted unconditionally. Nobody. Because we are all human beings. We all make mistakes. So you cannot bow down to somebody unconditionally. Or accept somebody or support somebody unconditionally. That's a form of worship. So understand that. And that is what's happening with this mark of the beast. It's not, oh, I bow down. Oh, I bow down. No, that's not, this, this is not it. You bow down by supporting the system. You bow down by supporting the system and the person that's bringing out. What if you are a Trump supporter and Trump says, well, and in order to go back to work, we all have to be vaccinated. Will you bow down? Will you bow down to the system and you say, yep, Trump knows it all. He knows it best. I'm going to get my uh, uh, um, vaccination in order to continue to support uh, our government. Will you? That's worship. We are coming up to that. But here, I'm going to finish up with this. Here's the most important thing. We will be gone before this mark is going to be in full implementation. I ask you to hang in there. When this comes out, don't panic. Hang in there and wait out until our Lord returns because he will. He will. Many people are afraid. They are saying, oh, what am I going to do uh, when they're uh, implementing this, 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 this mark? Well, if you're left behind, 
when the rapture happens. Yes, just be prepared that you either going to get the mark or you're going to be killed. That's just bottom line. You will be killed or you will take the mark. But I have a better solution. But, I mean, just be in the rapture. That's all. Anyways, I'm coming to an end. Let the Holy Spirit guide you.